Hi there, welcome back to another Bob Last. I'm Bob Burridge and this is 134. This is a continuation of 133. Remember the last one, we worked on four panels or more and it became a polyptic. Remember the polyptic? So here I was painting on this particular series of panels. Remember that one? And here was my setup. I had tables with my gel medium, my paper, my collage paper, mostly black and white. I have my skin safer for my hands. You know, it's what I rub over my hands. I have my paints, my Holbein paints. I have my gel mediums. I have my buckets of paint. Rub this stuff all over my hands. And so for my cardboard techniques, just remember, to get that cardboard, you just dip it in water, just dip it in water, peel it off, voila, and there is my little cardboard pieces for texture. Okay, I'm gonna start painting and that's the next step and let's see where I go with that one. So here we go, here we go. A template, spray paint, yay! Kinda of helps, pulls it all together. Oh. Makes no sense, but this is where it starts to, oh cool, see, it starts to pull it all together at this point. These are those acrylic spray paints. So now it's starting to come together. Here we go. Had to be a little bit bigger, the body to be bigger. A lot of white. Here we go, negative shape painting. Whew. See how it pull, pulls it together. This is going to be great when it's finished. I don't expect myself to finish this in this particular Bob Blast. But I wanted you to see really how far you got to go. They say if you go really far out at the end of the branch, that's where the sweetest fruit is. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm seeing how far I can go with this. Well, yeah, this is much better than what I was expecting it to be. Rubbing alcohol, this is a good time for that too. <laughs> okay, now I wanna start neutralizing, pulling things together. White, green in here. Oh, a lot of white. Oh, this is the advantage of having a large plate. Oh, what a great color. Woo! 
There we go. So I like how it's coming together. I like how it's, it's all connected. I like how the collage pieces are not standing out and, and uh, uh, drawing so much attention to themselves. You know, like, oh, he's stuck it on. So they're part of the painting. So I like how the colors are all coming together. It's building. I'm gonna leave it alone for a while. And I'll see you on the next one. Let's see, maybe I can even finish it at that time. Keep painting, I can't wait to see you on the next one. But here are those two dates I was telling you about. Sedona Art Center, one of my favorite places. Who doesn't like Sedona, the Red Rocks? It's just so beautiful and all the art is there. And I just like the whole place. <laughs> and that's why I do some pretty nice breakthrough pieces of work. I love being there. Anyway, twice a year I'm going to be there. Uh, it's my favorite dates there. Uh, spring and fall, May 15th through the 19th. It's contemporary, abstract, figure, collage, and we're going to eventually incorporate the polyptics into those figures. It sounds like too much fun. So it's brand new workshop. I've never done this one before. I'm doing it in my studio, so Vince thought it would be a great idea. We bring it out here and we do it all together in, at the Sedona Art Center. And the other one here, October 23rd to the 27th, playing with polyptics. So not just the figures, but more abstract. We'll see where all that's gonna go. And so if you wanna see more detail on that, go to my website, you'll see all that. And wow, this is all gonna be new this year and I can't wait. See you on the next one.